Okay, so today we're going to talk about this amazing news that just dropped uh, during the night. We have a brand new free DLC coming to Ark later on this year, and it is on the map The Lost Island. So this is already a modded map. We'll go over that later, but let's just quickly just look at some of these photos that we have and some of the information that we have, because like, honestly, I'm so excited for this. This sounds amazing. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and we'll have a normal video out later on today. Um, so anyway, yeah. First of all, this logo looks amazing. I just gotta say, it has like a little beta implant down here for some reason. Uh, it looks really, really cool though. It's like a completely overgrown arc logo and I really like that. Anyway, so I actually have not checked out this map at all. I didn't even know this map existed. There's so many modern maps nowadays, but like uh, this looks pretty beautiful. I mean, like we got this nice little like uh, swampy kind of like rivery area and we have like a little temple just on the uh, on the river band here and uh, it looks pretty cool. And maybe could be like a little Aztec type temple or something. I don't really know, but uh, hopefully there's some sort of cool like cave down there or something like that. Uh, next up, we have a ravine here with a lovely little trike. There's not like a huge amount that you'll see in these screenshots. It's just gonna like, it's gonna give you a little bit of a feel of what the map's actually gonna be like. Um, and I think it's gonna be pretty similar to like Ragnarok and the island. And uh, hopefully it's gonna have lots and lots of caves for us to do because Crystal Isles didn't have any of them at all. It was terrible. So anyway, yes, this uh, this ravine looks pretty nice. Uh, we have like just completely overgrown massive ravine area with another river, really cool looking. We have another area here with some geysers. Uh, so I love this stuff. This stuff is so fun. Uh, but we also have like a volcanic area in the back here. So we have like a full on volcano and then like another maybe volcano or smaller volcano in like the red obelisk area. Looks pretty amazing. Um, again, more rivers and stuff like that. So this honestly looks so cool though. Uh, next screenshot is very Ragnarok-esque. This reminds me so much of like the area on Ragnarok where like uh, Viking Bay would be down here. The big Ragnarok castle will be up here. Uh, it definitely looks like that, and I love that for sure. I mean, like, this castle looks pretty cool, actually. I can't wait to check that out. But, um, yeah, so we have snowy areas, we have volcano areas, we have plains and kind of, like, jungle areas. So it's going to be a really nice, pleasant map to be on. So let's go over some of the information that we actually have about the map. Explore new heights and hidden depths in this expansive 150 square kilometer map where survivors will encounter new biomes, challenges, and mysterious ruins. 150 square kilometers is roughly the size of Crystal Isles and Ragnarok, so again, it's going to be a massive map. Whether it's exploring valleys of waterfalls, setting up your treehouse home in the redwood forest, getting down and dirty in the vast swamps, diving deep underwater, climbing snowy mountains, or caving, there's something for every survivor out there. Arriving with the map will be three brand new real world creatures, including the Amargosaurus, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, and one explicitly chosen by the Ark community. So we're gonna have a vote going on pretty soon. So if you have ideas of what creatures you would like in Ark, make sure that you submit them I'll show you how in just a minute. So the Lost Island and its creatures will be a free DLC, of course, and it will be coming to Steam, Epic, blah, blah, blah. Every every platform, um, well, I guess not Switch and, and mobile, obviously, but yeah. Um, <laughs> all the important ones, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, it's going to be coming to all of the uh, platforms later on in the year, and uh, this is super exciting. And uh, we also have the Amargosaurus here to go over, but quickly before we do that, I'm just going to quickly talk about the voting system. So I'll leave a link to this down below, but uh, basically, if you want to submit a creature, you can also include a bunch of ideas. If you have artwork of one, just make sure you're not taking somebody else's artwork and like submitting it if, if they're wanting to do that. I think that could be kind of messy, but uh, yeah, basically they're just looking for ideas of dinosaurs that we would want in the game, which I think is fantastic. This is great. Like we, we haven't had something like this before. We haven't been able to choose what we want in the game. So uh, yeah, there's a couple like guidelines and stuff. I'll leave a link to this down below along with the full article if you guys want to read that yourselves. But um, yeah, so this is super exciting. Here's a couple creatures that just quickly came to mind. The Acrocanthosaurus is one that's not in the game, which would be really cool. Uh, we've also got the Ceratosaurus, also a really cool creature. And then uh, the Tyranotitan as well, which would be kind of nice. I don't know. There's like a lot of different like creatures that you could potentially go for. They don't always have to be like a dinosaur. You could just go for like a Mastodon or something like that. Like it could be a gigantic herbivore that is like built for battle and stuff like that. I don't know. We have a lot of different ideas and, uh, and, and creatures to go off of here. So yeah, if you have any cool ideas or anything like that, uh, make sure that you post them up. Uh, I will probably maybe put together some of my own ideas and, uh, and then we can see if, 
if we can get those in there or whatever but uh i don't know we'll have to wait and see like i'll, I'll probably just like sit back and let and let everybody in the community do their thing and then maybe if i have any ideas to add on top i can do that myself but anyway yeah let's go over the amargosaurus so here it is in all of its glory it looks amazing now i i think that this creature is going to be really interesting looking um Obviously, we've got all of these giant spikes all the way down its whole body. We'll be going over the actual information in just a minute here. Uh, we have a picture of it beside a survivor. It is a sauropod, so it's going to be a pretty big creature. I think roughly around the same size as like a Diplo uh, for a comparison. It's basically a Diplo with spikes, let's be honest. Um, it's kind of like a Diplo and a Kentro had babies. And then obviously we have another picture here and you can kind of see like a, a better version of these little spines on the back. So here's the information that we know about this creature. Of all the creatures in the sauropod family, Amargosaurus Titanicus is likely the most unique looking. It sports two parallel rows of dorsal spines down the length of its neck, back and tail. Though the neck spines are significantly longer than the back and tail spines. These spines are a remarkable adaption, giving the Amargosaurus unmatched control of its body temperature. Made even more incredible by their time on arcs, these spines store both extreme heat and extreme cold, effectively allowing the Amargosaurus to live comfortably in any environment. Its sails can also make it an abnormally capable swimmer for a sauropod. Unlike most sauropods, Amargosaurus is prone to violence, attacking most most predators and humans on site. I suspect this behavior developed alongside the dangerous spines it uses as weapons. Once finally tamed, it's no surprise that the Amargosaurus' spines are the best feature. If removed early, their thermal storage becomes erratic, which is perfect for catalyzing sap development in many trees. Some tribes, of course, adapted their thermal quirk for combat. By having Amargosaurus eject a spine before it sheds naturally, the freezing slash warming waves that emulate from the spike play havoc with armor in the area. Interestingly, simple armor is barely affected, while more complex armor is heavily affected. So that is, uh, that's the information that we have about this Amargosaurus. And honestly, I gotta say, this creature sounds amazing. So obviously, you're going to probably be able to pretty much sit on the back of this thing wherever you are. So it's gonna have probably like thermal properties for the player to keep them safe. So you're gonna be able to bring this thing into extreme colds or have it in like extreme hot areas. So it's gonna be a really good traveling mount. And then obviously the fact that it's gonna be able to swim is pretty interesting. I wonder how that's gonna go. But then also we have the fact that, you know, you can take off their spines and use that to damage armor. So I don't know if it's gonna like, like just send out waves of heat. So like you plant one into the ground and it's gonna like damage armor in the area or something. Uh, it's kind of confusing, but maybe you never know. I would think that the armor is affected by this will definitely be tech, uh, maybe also riot and maybe flak. Maybe not like different kind of armors that are, you know, made up of like just normal materials. Like we have ghillie armor and we have like fur armor. That type of stuff might not be affected by this. Initially, when I was reading that and thinking about the fact that you could take out the spines, I thought maybe they would be like a new arrow type or something. Maybe they, like an explosive arrow like we have with the tech bow, but probably not. But who knows? I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Either way, this is just one of three brand new dinosaurs that we're getting. And this one already sounds amazing. So yeah, that is all we have on the Amargosaurus. It honestly sounds so cool let's move on to the actual map itself so first of all we're going to take a look at the mod page here so this is the lost island we have lots and lots of photos to look at here it actually looks really beautiful uh the interesting thing about this map is that uh i actually had not heard of it before it only has 5,000 subscribers and i would reckon that a couple of these probably came in overnight as soon as uh it was announced so it probably had a little bit less than that um, this is probably like the least subscribed to mod that has become an official map. I know Crystal Isles had like hundreds of thousands of, of people that were playing on it before it became one. We also had Ragnarok, which probably had more than this, and then also Valkyro, but I, I don't know. Like it's I'm not I'm not hating on it at all. I'm just saying it's kind of interesting because like there's so many maps out there right now, and like they chose this one. So obviously it's a really good one. Either way, we can have some information about this map right here. Right now it uh, it's 35% done, and as you can see down here we have like a little a little picture of the map itself 
So we've got like green areas, we've got like redwoods areas here, we've got snowy areas, volcanoes over here, uh, a couple like little islands scattered around the area, and then also we have a desert down in the south right here. So it looks pretty cool. I, I am honestly really excited for this. I think it looks really interesting. We will be checking this out now, so let's hop on into the Ark. All right, so here is the map, and it looks pretty amazing. We gotta bear in mind, uh, it's only 35% done in its current state, but that was also back in March. Um, so obviously there's been a massive update in the works and we've already seen screenshots that show some of that so yeah we're not obviously going to be getting that on this this like modded version of it um so obviously yeah don't expect that from this version but eventually when this thing releases it will have all of the new stuff that's been worked on probably also some extra stuff as well i love these castles though this is awesome looking this looks a lot better than some of the castles we have in other dlcs yeah i like this damn all right we got like so many little towers and stuff like that um damn this looks awesome though okay yeah we've got like oh man this is awesome okay definitely very excited to check this out in uh survival mode when it officially releases but uh that is cool that stairway kind of looks like oh, okay you would be able to fit through there never mind um love all the towers though this is awesome looking so yeah we've obviously got oh what the hell is this oh we got like a whole big ass cave down here Maybe an artifact cave? I'm really excited for more artifact caves to check out. Like, I, I like Crystal Isles, I but I always say this. Like, they ruined it. Like, or maybe not ruined it, but they didn't put an amount, a good amount of, like, effort in towards the end because, like, there was hardly any, like, stuff to do on the map. You know, you, there was no artifact caves at all. Like, not a single cave to do artifacts, like, hunting and stuff like that. So that was always very disappointing. Um... It kind of ruined the map for me, to be honest. Uh, right down here, we've got another cave with a river. Oh, it leads right through. It's like a massive ass tunnel. Okay, we're getting a couple little freeze ups. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. I feel like we're about to crash now. Oh, never mind. Yeah, not exactly sure what's causing that. Single player is always pretty buggy and, and, and terrible. So, yeah, we've got blue creatures for some reason. Maybe you have an event active without knowing it. Um, but yeah, so this looks amazing. Honestly, super excited for this. Um, we've got like the castle here. We've got, ooh, this looks cool. I wonder if there's like wyverns or rock drakes or anything on this map. Um, and if there is, will they be staying? Cause that would be cool. Uh, I not a big fan of the way they just ripped them out of some other DLCs. Like Val had a massive rock drake area, no rock drakes. It's now a Karkonos trench. And then we had crystal isles, which also had a, a rock drake area, but then, you know, they obviously didn't include that. So that was kind of disappointing. Oh, this goes down. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it leads into a massive uh, cave. Maybe some sort of like swampy cave. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can hear artifacty kind of stuff down here. What the hell's this? Oh, it leads right out. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now we're like deloading that cave. Give it a sec. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's like a cool little tower that has like everything down there. Okay, maybe that wasn't an artifact because there's a drop right there. So, never mind. Um yeah this is awesome i'm obviously not going to try and find everything here today but i just kind of wanted to give my first impressions on this map and so far what i'm seeing is it's actually quite beautiful definitely reminds me a little bit of uh the island but also ragnarok and a little bit of val i don't know i'm getting those kind of vibes from here because there's like a lot of rivers and water and stuff um but yeah this is awesome i like this like sheer cliff right here this is pretty cool that could be a really nice spot for a base um, okay, so let's try and check out some of the other areas. Uh, we've got, we've got like a little tunnel here or something. Okay, underneath the obelisk. Very cool. Um, anything else around here? Uh, well, we've actually got a decent amount of the snow area in, which is nice. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, this looks cool. What do we got through here? Ooh, okay. I like this. I like all those giant crystals. Um, so yeah, we've got... Oh, we've got Ice Wyverns. Okay, well, Ice Wyverns confirmed. Is there a trench here? Is this their trench? This is probably their trench, considering there's giant cubbies in the walls. So that's cool. We've already found their trench. Um, oh, oh, what is this? Oh, this looks amazing. Okay, let's gamma up. Yeah, there's more uh, cubbies in the walls here. So clearly this is where we're going to be finding them. I feel like the game is super, like, framey and stuttery right now. I'm rocking good frames. It just keeps, like having little hiccups for some reason. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that, and I do apologize for that, because I don't like having stuttery footage. But yeah, this uh, this looks pretty cool. I like this. Okay, so we've got the volcano area over here, which doesn't look like it's done. Yeah, so we have seen that that is done in those screenshots that we've already got, so clearly the massive update's already done. Don't take this 
not being done right now as a you know an indicator of how well the map is going to be when it's uh when it's fully released because obviously you know this this probably would have uh been organized maybe a month or two ago um so yeah look at this damn this looks amazing we've got another giant castle here with a bridge leading up to it oh i love it i really do this is awesome you know there's so many good maps out there but like there's too many of them right now so it's hard to like keep up with all of them and check them out and stuff like that um oh this looks interesting what the hell oh this is yeah no this could be really nice actually it's like build in oh my, how many times does it go up okay here we go we're out amazing okay we've got somehow there's like i don't know how they're growing for through the through the wood there that's interesting um oh oh there's like full-on buildings look at this okay let's check this one out oh yeah we're having more stutteriness i'm not i'm super confused as to what's causing that could be loading in caves or something maybe um yeah this looks really cool we got some trudons chasing me right now which is not okay go away um so yeah lots and lots of buildings that are kind of like torn up a little bit what's this oh that's a blacksmith oh yes look at this you know what totally need to uh you know i'm just gonna make myself invisible there we go i totally need to come in here and redo all of this and like fix it up and stuff like that at some point when we're playing on this map obviously there will be a new series when this comes out as always um and i'll try and not abandon this one although i'm i'm liking this a little bit more than crystal isles right now because like i haven't experienced it and i won't be experiencing it until it comes out so that's really cool we've got like a little church or something here yeah that's that's kind of nice actually got little chambers back here cool all right let's uh let's check out is there more buildings like this this castle area is really cool okay what is this is this a trebuchet no that's uh oh that looks like a primitive kind of version of like a crane i guess that's cool all right um let's see we've got a couple more buildings here anything interesting yeah what is this another little little building uh oh what does that say tavern okay let's check out the little tavern then um oh we've got a basement okay oh is this a cave oh it's like a little cellar okay that's cool actually i like that damn so yeah there's actually a good amount of detail in all these little buildings here i like that a lot actually god damn yeah this looks amazing um so do we have any like other like hidden areas in here i mean maybe <laughs> i mean castles usually have like a nice little like escape route or whatever what's in here probably just leads up top uh i feel like we're loading in a cave let me actually ghost because i feel like we're definitely loading in some sort of cave or something oh yeah wait is this the one you know that's the little cellar maybe not maybe we're not loading in a cave okay now i flew okay well, that's not great um let's there we go that should fix it so yeah that's uh that's pretty amazing we have this like massive ass uh, castle here yeah i like this a lot actually very excited for this map i mean this looks awesome uh, this is obviously just like a little bit of it like there's there's probably so much more on this map that we haven't checked out um what is this over here is there any more castles or anything like that i do love me some castles yeah we've got like some unfinished areas over here oh no never mind what the hell it all just loaded in all at once that was weird i don't like that that was that was odd um do we have that other like little temple that we saw in the pictures it's probably here somewhere but probably not gonna be able to find it i do have to say this isn't this is beautiful looking yeah you know i think another reason why i didn't like crystal isle so much is that i realized that it's all on like a flat plane with like just a couple little mountains like the whole map is flat it only has a couple little mountain areas right just think about it think about how like ragnarok plays with elevation in certain areas and like a whole area is elevated and then you have like these cliffs and like ravines and stuff going down whereas crystal isle is just like a flat area with like a couple mountains this on the other hand is very different this is not a flat area not everything is at the water level which is cool um so that temple's probably in here somewhere i'm not going to try and spend the whole day trying to find that but um yeah i'm pretty impressed with what i'm seeing so far here so yeah check out the modded map i'll also leave a link to that down below if you want to uh we got a spino in the air very cool um yeah i'm obviously gonna try and take another few little looks at this before it becomes official but i'm not gonna start up a series on the modded version so don't expect that we've got another little uh cave here weird ass like little things here oh yeah okay this is a nice cave oh this is gonna be oh my god pvp cave right here look at this tiny entrance oh my god <laughs> <laughs> this is this is for sure a pvp cave oh man this is actually a really nice looking cave as well but uh oh my god that 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 is like the perfect pvp cave right there 
Wow. Okay. Yeah. So there we have it. The Lost Island uh, map. If you uh, if you guys are excited for this, let me know down below. Also, let me know if uh, if you have any sort of creature that you would like to see in Ark. Because now that we can we can make a vote, that could be really interesting. We may also see maybe a couple of the other creatures that get voted getting added as well. But just bear in mind, if they have to then make all of these creatures and everything, this is probably not coming out for several more months. I would I would probably say I'm gonna say like November December. But obviously, I don't have any insider information. That's just like my opinion. Uh, it might come out before then. Who knows? But I, that's just kind of what I'm thinking, considering the fact that they're going to now have to take some creature ideas and then make a new creature. And then also the map needs to be completed. And there's like a lot of stuff that still needs to be done. So, um, yeah, maybe November, December. We'll see. But yeah, if you guys are excited for it, let me know down below and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and whatnot. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one.